the Wurlitzer of Wisdoms. This is our old pinball machine. The photo was taken back when we used to play it. There was something solid about the sounds that reminded me of the cast iron slot machines they called one-armed bandits. The Zebras found it in Hudson Falls, a town up the road. There was a pinball repair shop. I don't recall who bought it. Maybe our business manager, Larry, who probably wrote it off as a business expense. But come to think of it, it was. We used it in the fourth tower of Inverness. Fulton needed a sound for a jukebox that played the wise spiritual words of Ram Das. So we recorded a nickel being dropped into this very pinball machine. It may not have fit your image of the jukebox that Jack Flanders discovers in Inverness, but this is what gave us the sound for the Wurlitzer of Wisdoms. We also used the pinball sound in the first Ruby. It's when she plays cosmic pinball. She's trying not to get killed. The second ball comes blasting out of the chute. I catch the thing with a mogul flipper that sends it off a random bumper and straight back at me. The episode has a lot of good thumps, clangs, and bells as she ricochets off bumpers and flippers. It smashes into me, knocking me off a thumper bumper, and we both drop down the black hole in the floor. The black hole spits me back out again, and I'm ready for the third ball. This pinball machine had a solid chrome ball rolling around, bumpers banging, flippers whacking, analog sound not like the slicky-dicky digital ones you hear nowadays. This is the kind of pinball our soldiers played in cellars in World War II. As shells exploded above and dirt filtered down, they were hunched over machines like this trying not to tilt. Over all the chaos, I bet they could hear this baby banging and clanging. It's a classic. 